Whoosh. We're in space. What's this? Red tree. Wait, what? Valentine Morgan. Let's see, X Xavier. Y York. Uh, Z Zach. Then, of course, V for Valentine. What was York's papa's name? Was it William? Uh, so I hope there's a custom suit for adult York with the pattern of We York space pajamas. I could have a space suit. What's up, Isaiah? You will also be able to return back soon. Yay? So skinny, Isaac. Very soon, you'll be able to go back. To where you came from. High five. And a poo. What's going on? <laughs> awesome. Thanks for the update. And Rex. <laughs> I like your dress. <laughs> You also have nothing to share. That's awesome. Great, good conversation. Nice cut on your dress, <laughs> Diane. But I wish it had a uh, a neck strap like Becky's. Also, thumbs up for all the distinct dresses. <laughs> Care Bear, you're also just laughing. And good old Uncle Teabags, are you just gonna giggle at me too? You also need to have more fun. Alright. I'll play with you a little if you like. Uh, actually, I think I'm good, dude. Just, um, stay over there, away from me. Awesome. Cool. Papa Mo. Expect no praise. You did nothing but your duty. Yo, fuck you. You did more than you duty. <laughs> I said duty. I said you, duty. Mama Mo. Francis, well done. Thank you. I'm sure your father wants to congratulate you. Uh, actually, it turns out he's an asshole and a piece of shit, so none of that's true. I do appreciate it, though. Let's go. Open the door. Emily. She's holding a casein doll. I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to go with your parents yet. Allow? There is still something you need to do. Open that envelope. You got it. It's a camera facing out into the world. Amazing. <sighs> Usha. Agent York, finally you're awake. How long have I been out? A whole day, uh, plus ten hours or so. Oh my goodness. I wanted to challenge you to a game, but uh, uh, you were asleep. Emily, which room is Emily in? Emily? What, she hurt too? She hasn't come I in knew the hospital. it. Kaysen! What? I told Kaysen to bring her here. Kaysen? Well, Kaysen came. I mean, he's the one who brought you here. Ooh. Which reminds me. He asked me to give you this. What a pile of poop. What is it? I don't know. He just asked me to hand it to you after you woke up. Anyway, you solved the case, right? Hey, do you want to play some chess? Yes, actually. I'm terrible at chess. I'll have to take a rain check. Also, poor clipping. I have an urgent issue I need to attend to, and I need to leave the hospital. Alright, let's go. It's 4 p.m. 
Or AM. I don't know. Zack. I have a bad feeling about this. Well, I told you it was him in that last episode. Or maybe two episodes ago. Or or both. Hmm? Where'd that come from? I just pulled that out of my ass. Alright, looks like we got another driving segment. Zack, I'm getting a really bad feeling about all this. Yeah. I truly believe George was the murderer that we were after. But killing him, of course, does not solve all the murders related to the Red Seeds. Indeed. I do not know if what Harry said is true at all. But the answer to the mystery of those Red Seeds is here in this town. I'm sure of that. Whoa, what the fuck is that? I failed as an FBI agent. I left Emily alone as I slept through an entire day. Zack, I need you to pray with me. Pray that things have not gone too far. You got it, pal. All we can do is go to the location written in Kaysen's letter. Yeah, all the murders connected to the Red Seeds. Kaysen was a traveling salesman. So he must have been giving those trees to people. Who the fuck are you? Giving those trees to people who would uh, try to consume them. Mm -hmm. Kind of getting out of here. But... I don't know what Kaysen could benefit from that. This is strange. Unless he tried to harvest their power afterwards. It's a strange cat. I don't understand his motivations. Mm. A red tree right in his yard. George's house. King George. Hmm. <laughs> Do you smell a fart, York? This is most strange, Zack. I thought this story was all over. It's never over. But it looks like there's something else before we get to see the ending. Hmm. This is the King Castle, I assume. Why this need to display power? Something I will never understand. Nor I. As a professional, I must do this. Hmm. Fireplace. Feel a draft of air from somewhere below. Any pointers, Zach? I think it's that uh, red dot. But I'm going to keep looking. Probably shouldn't. Why not? So many mannequins. Sure, why not? Looking good. I always look good. Never turned down an opportunity for ducats. There's dishwashing detergent. Eh, it's not that bad. I've definitely seen worse. I can sleep. Hmm. So this was the wire found at each crime scene. 
Should we send this in as evidence, or do we no longer need to? Of course you should send it in as evidence, you tool. Alright, let's see what's underneath here. Oh. Or is this one of those I have to... Yeah. Alright. I see wires up above me, and that kind of freaks me out. Another hidden room. Who's not surprised? Zach, it looks like George really had a thing for Emily. Sure does. What the fuck? This wall is covered with Emily's pictures. I don't think Emily needs to see it. She might have already. Emily's name is on the bag. These must be items she used. George, you are definitely guilty. Definitely. George's mother. Meeting the mother is always a bad experience after killing the son. I don't see it. F K Kaysen Forest Kaysen. Hmm. He's the one. I hear something. Come to the theater. Emily. There the final curtain shall rise. <laughs> I thought we were going to be done with this. Oh well. I guess we still got another episode to go. See you then. Bye.